Hello everyone, it is Sir Knight Al Smith, the gas man, here with another edition of Regalia Rhetoric. Uh, I thought I would talk about uh, two things today. Uh, one is the saying that I hear so many times in the assembly hall and on Facebook, it's the saying this, hey Al, remember, it's just a hat. Uh, how many times have we heard that, seen that, hey, it's just a hat, like, get over it. It's just a hat. Of course, I have to respond, I have to <laughs> bite my tongue, but remind uh, my fellow Sir Knights to say, listen, it's not just a hat. It's our signature. It's our trademark. I mean, when you say Knights of Columbus, what do people think of? Oh, it's the capes and the hats. Now, it's not just a hat, it's a chapeau. And uh, behind me is a ball cap. That's a hat. That's an Al Smith the Gas Man hat. Pray, trust, don't worry, Al Smith the Gas Man on the back. That's a hat, okay? This is a chapeau <laughs> with the feathers on it. And, and this is a beret, okay? There's a big difference. But when someone says, hey, listen, it's just a hat. No, it is our one of our signature traditions uh, that people come, have come to know and love us. So uh, again, I cannot keep my tongue uh, in my mouth too long when I hear that. And I think a lot of you feel the same way. Uh, so when we hear, oh, it's just a hat, no. Uh, I don't think they get it. I don't think they get it. And, and there's been a lot of um, very upset Sir Knights uh, that are upset because the signature is being pushed away, hidden, uh, to uh, take something that everybody knows and loves and to just totally trash it, remove it, uh, make it disappear. Oh, but to help make sure that it disappears quicker, uh, we'll set some penalties in place so that if you wear the hat, the chapeau, you will be summarily suspended. So um, again, I think a lot of people are asking that question to say, hey, if it's just a hat, why are you suspending guys out of the order, kicking them out, if it's just a hat? It's just a hat, eh? No, it is our history, our tradition. Uh, so, um, almost feel like, I don't want to hear that ever again, okay? It's just a hat. No, it's more than just a hat. So. Anyway, all right, the other thing um, that I wanted to talk about was a referendum. <laughs> I did a post on Facebook. Uh, it, it went over huge, lots of response. Like, it's funny. I've had um, 20,000 views now on my programs, Regalia Rhetoric, Regalia Therapy, the KFC has four degrees. So a lot of you are tuning in and watching, which is good. The most views I get is when I talk about suspensions, <laughs> lawsuits. Um, everybody tunes in when I talk about suspensions. So um, it's crazy. But I got a lot of attention when I talked about a referendum, uh, putting a vote out on the hat. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of frustration, I think, with members saying, hey, listen, I'm a member. I got vote, voting power. And generally, the idea is, is that I elect leaders who are going to represent my views. And that's what I do. I, I, I elect people to say, take care of my interests. And uh, that's what I think a lot of us thought. But someone even said to me, they said, it seems like it's upside down right now. Um, you know, these leaders are telling us what to do and saying, you, you, you do this or else. When it was supposed to be, hey, can you do what we want you to do? And uh, so with that in mind... Uh, I proposed a referendum vote where uh, they would simply just ask the 350,000 plus Sir Knights, very easy to do, we all meet in assemblies, we all have email, we all have mail, and uh, let us just fill in a ballot, uh, vote at the assembly, um, you know, take the vote over a two-month period, simple, yes or no, uh, should we reinstate the hat and uh, the regalia grandfather it or not, you know? Again, democracy. <laughs> Let the members really speak on this because they're frustrated with the process. Um, 
and maybe are thinking, you know, are the people really representing the interest of the rank and file? And um, so a referendum might be a good thing. In fact, I think it'd be an excellent thing and it would be easy to do. So, uh, and people like to have a voice. They just like to have a voice. So uh, pretty simple. So today's show, again, it isn't just a hat <laughs> and it's time for a vote. Time for a vote once and for all on this. Uh, let the 350,000 plus Sir Knights uh, who have a vested interest in this have a vote, yes or no, would they like to have the regalia reinstated? So uh, simple as that. So, hey, that was easy, right? <laughs> and it's easy when we pray. So like the hat says, pray, trust, don't worry, pray your rosary, and let's continue to pray for the intercession of the venerable Michael J. McGivney. And so through his, um, again, heavenly assistance, may he help us to be the Catholic gentleman that God has called us to be. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you again next time on another edition of Regalia Rhetoric with your host, Sir Knight Al Smith, the Gas Man. God love you. <laughs>